we were talking about a auto transforming G1 Optimus Prime from a company and through a little bit of research and digging I have confirmed that the company's name is called Sen Power of the MPPP Optimus Prime Auto Transformer. There's no uh, official name for it yet outside of that letter designation. Mm -hmm. um, th through doing some research about this company, now knowing about its name, I actually pulled up um, some interesting video and information about them. Apparently in April of this year that passed a couple months ago, uh, they were at the Robot uh, World Conference in Beijing, and this was in this video was in April, but the, I think the Beijing conference was actually maybe a little earlier than that. And they showed off a whole bunch of other stuff that we did not know about until only recently. Um, the video shows them with an auto transforming what, what looks like a uh, hound and it's kind of like dancing in the video and then another one showing an auto transforming uh, scavenger from the G1 Constructicons and it's interesting to note that in the video the scavenger has the same uh, audio voice box as the G1 Optimus Prime where it goes transform and has the same sound effect and this predates the Optimus Prime by quite a few months so it's interesting to see that in the video. A follow-up to this is uh, now it seems like, according to some reports that have been posted in images by different people, we're now seeing that Sen Power is now working on a auto-transforming G1 hot rod. So, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> um, the photos that have been posted online, again, are very similar to that of the uh, photos that were posted of the G1 Prime, where it's you know clearly on someone's table, um, but this time they actually show it uh, to scale with some other pre-existing uh, Transformer toys. And so it shows the Sen Power Optimus Prime with a BAPE-colored uh, Masterpiece Optimus Prime, which was the green repaint, and the traditional Classics G uh, G1 Optimus Prime. But it's also next to their Sen Power Hot Rod, which doesn't have a designated name yet, um, but it's with the recent uh, Masterpiece uh, hot Rod or Hot Rodimus and here's an interesting hook and the reason why it's worth mentioning the Titans Return uh, Hot Rod Headmaster Hot Rod and the reason why I bring that up and why that's so important is that this Sen Power Hot Rod seems to be the design and sculpt seems to be really based off of that Titans Return Hot Rod which is really interesting that they chose to go with that toy as kind of the base for its transformation. That was quick. Yeah, <laughs> seriously. But, uh, that but I, was quick. But I also find it interesting because, I mean, anyone who's who owns that Titan's Return Hot Rod, um, I don't know if that transformation it lends to the sim, you know, the way that an auto transformation would work. You know, there's the, mm. there has to be certain twists and turns that help it stand up. And I don't really, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Um, one thing that I, I, I did notice um, when looking at this from the different angles that the, these photos have is that the front wheels of the hot rod, while they're clearly done in the resin prototype plastic, the rear wheels are actually rubber. Now, I'm thinking to myself, maybe the rubber wheel has something to do with helping with the transformation to get the toy upright by getting grip under it to lift it and make it upright for the transformation. Because a hot rod transformation uh, for practically every single hot rod toy that has ever existed, with the exception of maybe the complexity of Masterpiece, almost all of them involve the car just standing up and then just everything unfold, you know, not unfolding, but uh, pulling out. And then there's the robot mode. So I think that there, there might be something involved in with the transformation involved with these rubber wheels. Uh, again, the different angles don't really show much else aside from that. Even there's a rear shot, which doesn't really give us much indication of how the transformation works. We only have right now just these these alt mode uh, photos. Mind you, it's a lot of photos from a lot of different angles, but needless to say, it uh, doesn't really tell us much about the transformation. Just basing on 
the shape of the alt mode, it clearly is the Titan's Return, you know, hot rod. Mm. What do you think? Um, I think it's pretty cool that we got... You managed to find the, uh, the scavenger slash hound one, because in those videos we see that they do have rubber wheels on them, and the scavenger is driving around in alt mode. Yep. Like it's, it's, yeah, it's, I forgot it's to mention forward. that. Yeah, that's true. It's moving around in alt mode, so... You know, good observation on the hot rod where its rear his rear wheels are rubber. Maybe it's just a prototype, so that's why the front wheels aren't rubber. Um, I'm Could be just sure. rear wheel drive. Wouldn't be ninety nine percent of uh, RC cars are rear wheel drive, mm -hmm. um, where the front is just independently just for control. Do so, you think he'll? You think he's going to be that kind of crazy like? You'll be able to recreate uh, the scene in Dairy jumping over, you know, hills and sh and stuff. In, in all honesty, <laughs> in all honesty, the funny thing is, is that if it's based again, if it's really that loyal and based to that of the Titans Return uh, design, um, I could see those legs uh, being able to each individually house. Again, this is a big, this is a big toy. Yeah, it's this, very big. It's um, this is this about, is like this is RC car standard large, you know. Like, like looking at the um, masterpieces, it's almost like you could fit. Like for the Optimus Prime, it's like you could fit maybe six of them in this thing. Oh yeah, in, it's in, large. in the Optimus Prime one, and then the Rodimus one. It's like I would give it maybe six again, maybe, maybe more than that. Yeah, like yeah. maybe a little bit more. But that's I why, guess. so, but that being said, what I'm trying to get at is because it's so large, that means that those each individual leg segment, which would have a wheel attached to it, uh, could easily house an individual motor to yeah. run individual. Like the, the thing with the Optimus Prime, and we've, and again, it's only because we've seen uh, how it transforms and stuff, uh, knowing how the legs and the arms work and stuff, there's not much room to put. Uh, moving wheels and stuff, and again, we've seen images that it's more or less just resin wheels right now, where this hot rod, I think it lends more to it. Mm. Um, there's, because every single hot rod toy, more or less, they, you know, with the exception of, say, animated, uh, those rear wheels and being part of the legs, they don't, there's not much twists and turns going on there at the bottom, so you could put a lot of stuff in it, and house, you know, an axle, that has a running motor, you know, gear motor in there, so it will be interesting. Um, but just think, you know, again, knowing the transformation of a of a Titan's Return hot rod, yeah. I could see it happen. I'm just con concerned how that thing's going to stand upright. That's right. but but again, I'm, on its I'm, own, I'm probably going to be wrong. They're, they're, they probably have something planned out, and there's it's really articulated. It because again, I'm thinking of the Titan's Return hot rod. I'm just trying to imagine. Like, with the articulation that that toy has, how would it do it on its own? Like, how would it move its arms out, push itself up? You yeah, know? But, exactly. But I think that this one probably is going to... They're going to they're gonna give it its own extra articulation, and they'll probably figure out something. All I know is, if this thing actually legitimately gets released, I am effed. Because <laughs> I would be... I, I am get, more concerned for your wallet than you are. So. Yeah, I because, again... The, the original concern when we were talking about the original Send Power Prime here was how What's expensive price? this thing is going to be. I can't even fathom. You know, like this this one looks even bigger. You know, it looks even bigger than the Optimus. It, you know, now it looks like it has a motor in it. You know, on top of the motor of just transformation that these things already have. Yeah. But it, but it looks like it has a motor in it for the wheels now, and you know, so now there's rubber on top of just the plastic. It looks like it, of the two, it probably would be the more expensive one. And man, looks good. Looks good. <laughs> I, I, I was saying the Prime looks good, and the only thing that really turned me off was probably how much it would cost. But now we got a, you know, they threw the gauntlet down. You know they heard, they heard our podcast and they're messing with me, so uh, I know something. that. W and again, the only reason how I, I came about these images was because they were sent to me on Twitter, because um, people knew that it's something I would dig. So, <laughs> uh, one more thing I just want to point out about the uh, original video from uh, the robotics conference 
is that um, the way Hound looks, isn't that his uh, G1 style? It it looks, I was going to say, um, it looks like they were really patterning it after the alternator, but the right. alternator really more or less is the G1 style. Mm. You know, so... That's I, I I'm like I almost feel like I swear I look at it and I almost feel like they took the the alternator toy as kind of a basis to work with, mm-hmm. but again like I said before the but alternator- it's not perfect it's not like a one oh, no, for no, one no. for the alternator toy because there's a part where the um, chest comes down but it's kind of staying up almost like I think Huffer yeah Did, yeah well, it kind of, it kind of hoods. I I feel like the Hound probably was the first thing they tried to design mm-hmm. like. It almost feels like that was their 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 prototype to everything, and then the, the, probably when they figured out Hound, because Hound is Hound is a lot like that Jazz transformation. It's very simple, you know. Yeah. U- upright chest, no twist even involved, more or less. Uh, going to the G1 toy, and same thing. Hound as an alternator uh, was one of those few alternators that really was almost 100% loyal to the original toy. Like every other alternator, more or less, is a different interpretation of what they were before, you know, whether it be, you know, Jazz, a.k.a. Meister, being an yeah. RX-7 instead of a, a Porsche and everything. Um, but you look at you look at Hound, and he's really just, he's a Jeep who, yep. who still has the same transformation, and very little has changed from that. And, you know... Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Oh, yeah, totally. And it's just, this guy here, you know, it looks like they probably looked at something that was, you know, pretty consistent... It's the same thing, like what I said when you went when they went in with the Optimus. They just probably looked at all the different kinds of transformations with Optimus Prime and said, "What could we take the best out of all of this and apply it?" I'm pretty yeah. sure they did, they did the same with not so much maybe Hound, but the Hound concept of transformation, mm-hmm. and and worked with that because, like I said, the Alternator took the original G1 concept and kind of just added some new twists to it, and yeah. storage and you know the good thing with, with Alternators is that it showed that you could have interior uh, de- interior design in a transformer toy so if you have interior design with alternators and with these toys you don't need to worry about interior design now you could use that interior design to house engines and and all kinds of uh, mechanics to then work with something that works on auto transforming right or in this case with the hound it looks like he's dancing but either way anything else I hope they don't do a jazz because they have a dancing hound. I'm finished. <laughs> it's true. They make eh? that jazz break dance. Ja- I am jazz. Done. Well, that's just it. If jazz transforms, <laughs> or they, go- they make him, they make like they make him a Bluetooth speaker. So then all of a sudden, like his windows come down and speakers. Small Two speakers, speakers come, come out. out. Oh boy! Don't give I'm them done. ideas. Don't give them. <laughs> he's, 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 he's no, gonna, they know you're good for it. They they he's, they're gonna Bluetooth. They haven't your seen iPhone. my collection. They know you're good for it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they know. <laughs> This this is an easy addition. Oh man, he's we can get this Guaylo easy. Watch I, this. This is the one thing I forgot to mention. This thing, I'm actually curious how tall it's going to be in robot mode, mm. because the way that hot rod works is, I mean, the legs extend like a hot rod toy. Uh, like to, let's use even the Titans Return, even the G1, um, almost doubles in size from the car mode length. So right. that thing's going to be. F- that, that's gonna be a tall toy. Yeah, it's that's gonna, gonna be, a tall be order. that's gonna be like I don't want to like really throw it out there, but that's gonna be like Fort Max tall. Like it's that's gonna be pretty damn tall. So I'm really curious about this. Um, come at me, Send Power. Come at me. 